crazy to be standing here today. But good afternoon, everybody. And um, I'm Bo, Peter's oldest son. I want to thank everybody for being here today to celebrate the life of my dad. Um, you know, where do I start? You know, just saying his name, Peter Basil. I mean, if I asked everyone here their first thoughts that came to your mind about him, I bet what, whatever those thoughts are, it, it makes you smile. <laughs> um, he made everyone smile. Um, to, to say my father was a good man would be an understatement just like anything else. He, he was an amazing man. He was the definition of selfless. He, he, he was an absolute loving husband. Um, best father, pop father, what it was. And he was a great friend to all those that were close to him. He was a problem solver like no other, influential to all those around him. And he was always willing to give advice and help others with their own difficulties or struggles. Um, growing up, I, I always looked up to my father. As you can imagine, just as Britt said, raising three boys was quite a challenge. Um, with me, for example, those challenges came in a lot of different forms. <laughs> um, whether it was me daring Blake to jump out of a second floor window, break his leg, and me subsequently cover it up. <laughs> um, you know, or if I called him out in the middle of nowhere at midnight, me and my friends are stuck out of mud riding, and he would come out to the middle of the woods and give me his own share of words, but he, it didn't matter. He was there. Um, multiple instances, you know, involving fast cars, police. <laughs> we don't have to get into all of that, though. Uh, you can find my mom or I afterwards if you want to hear some more stories. You might get different versions depending on who you talk to. Um, but regardless of the situation, everything we experienced growing up, whatever his reaction was to anything, it, it, he was just always there, no matter what. He was always there. Um, watching him and my mom over the years was, was always something, as it was, I'm sure, for everybody else around him. Um, I definitely feel like there's something to be said for a couple that can be together for 46 years um, at their age. Um, they met as teenagers, and they have been together with each other ever since. Um, we, we had some tough times over the years, and absolutely none of it had ever had a negative effect on their relationship. If anything, they always just came out of things stronger. Um, I didn't grow up with parents that, that fought. I didn't grow up with parents who yelled at each other or slammed doors. And even being young, I took notice early on that what we had at home was special. And it was different than what I would see at friends' houses and things like that. They were genuinely just good to each other all the time. And I always aspired to have that with my wife when I got with her. Now that I finally do, <laughs> my dad has been telling me since day one that if I mess this up, I'm out, and Lindsay's in. That's <laughs> Whitney saying this. Whitney. Another thing, of course, I looked up to with him was his devotion to God. Uh, he, he accepted God into his heart at the age of 46, and he never looked back. He has been a devoted member of Lakeview Christian Center ever since. Um, my dad was a great man before being saved, but I watched him transform into something even greater afterwards. After he accepted Jesus in his heart, his motives seemed to change on how he served others. He continued to serve others, but it was different. I am sure there are many people he has helped, many of you here today, even. Um, many that he's never told about um, just because he knew it wasn't about him. All for all for God. And, and that has changed with him a lot over the years. 
Um, as of recently, as of you all know, my dad fought a very tough battle these last five weeks of his life. It was ugly, it came out of nowhere, and it's not something that I would ever want anyone else to have to endure. But even though it felt like an eternity to my family spending every day at the hospital, I know in my heart that it was only the start of, of his everlasting eternity with Jesus. And it gives me a little more comfort knowing that he's been reunited with my brother Blake. Um, I don't know what our future will look like, but I do know that for sure that he will be missed by all of us, especially his three grandsons, Ethan, Nathan, and Aiden. Papa loves all of y'all very much. I love you, Dad. Thank you.